Morning everybody. Uh, today we will be doing wire guidance training. Uh, we'll call this part one where we learn about the wire itself. One moment please. So in many warehouses of wire guidance you will see something similar to this. This is the driver. So you can see it's got power coming in and this goes down and underneath the bumper there's a little jump and a piece of wire that goes into that yellow tiny stripe. Inside here, hold that in so it stays on. This is the old school, like this thing has pretty much been this. There's been two designs of this thing, and uh, <laughs> this is the more recent design. As you can see, sometimes old school just works. And it also has a battery backup in it, so that in case there is an issue, like a power failure, you don't get a whole bunch of forklifts that just freak out when uh, it loses its wire. There's nobody on the wire right now, that's why I'm opening the box. Although I am holding this in, because this is a safety deal. Uh, so that when you open the box, it disables the high voltage in here, which kicks the battery back up in uh, but it's nice to just keep that in as much as possible to use the batteries as little as possible and uh, you use let's see there's you can see the three resistors let me move my finger here you got one there one there and one up there as of which those are what you use to adjust the amplitude voltage current all that good stuff for this Runs it, I don't know if I said it already, runs at 6.25 kilohertz. That is the Heister frequency. And you can actually detect this frequency uh, with an old school transistor AM radio. So anyway, there's two wires that come down. They run impaired to each other and then right at this split, one goes that way and the other goes that way. And if you follow the little yellow one, you can see all these little cut-ins, and those run down the aisle. Now, if you've watched the line, the line just goes straight, but when they fish the antenna into the floor, it's actually going every other down the aisles. But it's just easier to cut, you know, one straight line. So anyway, this goes down the full length of the aisles. They typically put it a different color as to say here. Right here is a regular concrete joint and this is the wire. So this keeps you on line as you can see from the tire tracks it's pretty accurate. If you come down and you actually measure the tire and measure the width of the track, it's only off by about three-eighths of an inch. Now granted, there are other some variables and some wiggle room. Um, with the equipment, but we'll talk about the truck equipment on our next episode. Or installment or whatever. But yeah, that is the heart of the wire guidance system. Here, let me open it up one more time. I'll show you one other thing. Uh, the antenna. Here's the antenna wire. Sorry. And it's just copper. Just a piece of wire that's about so uh, in here this loop is unspliced. When well, you can splice them, but this is an unspliced loop that's about uh, on this particular run it's about 45 100 feet to so almost a mile and on your longer runs they have you put in this capacitor I don't know why I don't know if that's for current limiting but on the longer runs you definitely have to uh, get that straightened out in there and I guess a quick rundown so there's your two batteries it runs off 24 volts uh, this is your 24 volt high voltage 24 volt power supply uh, both those lights mean it's got power and battery backup. That one means the system is on and it's solid, so there's no problems. 
there's nobody around. So see how that's flashing? That means there's an issue. And that's because I'm not holding this in, but it's running on battery power. If I pull that out, it's kind of like a hold and that'll turn house power back on. So this puts out 24 volts. Probably shouldn't be touching live stuff. Um, and it comes out here and then up into the main board and that's all 24 volt stuff uh, these dip switches here are to set your frequency uh, we use like i said we use 6.25 crown i know uses what five it's either five or 5.2 kilohertz uh, it is very low frequency but yeah that's what we got here And next time, we'll learn all about the sensors that live behind this bumper and behind that sensor. There's one in there, and there's one way under there, around the center of the mast, but we'll learn about those in our, uh, our next sprint. Hold on. Actually hit the wrong button there, but that's fine. So yeah, that's uh, part one. Uh, part two, we'll be going over the truck itself. And then part three will be a... Uh, just doing our thing. And uh, well, yeah. Part three, we'll be actually getting on the wire and a little more explanation from there. Uh, that's it. Thank you. Have a groovy time and subscribe if you enjoyed. See you.